today in this hour that through pandemic, political and societal unrest, wars and rumors of wars, we live and breathe and work and sacrifice with indomitable warriors who pour it all out to protect and defend our freedom, to emerge and rise up from all the ashes and with those who lead the charge. And in that light, we're so grateful for Colonel Rideout, not for his rank or his position, but for him as a person, for his passion for people, for his tenacity in mission, for his unrelenting and insatiable drive for excellence in expansion and preeminence in all that he does and all that he believes in. So may he and his family be blessed beyond the words that I could ever express. Because of who he is, I simply ask that you bless him to be true to himself, true to his God, true to his country, and true to his core. Uh, that partnership grew into friendships, and friendships are permanent. So it doesn't matter where we are, and it doesn't matter who's picking a fight with us. You call up, you got friends in one big, and we'll be there to brawl with you gentlemen. I appreciate your partnership. The, uh, the professionals, last P. You know, I mentioned that the MIG is full of pace setters, and it's the individual actions of Marines and sailors who get it done, right? And that's the part of the fun for me was just to sit back and smile in amazement and go, I can't, I can't, believe, they, I can't believe they're doing it. Um, that is certainly impressive. I already mentioned, you know, that I, I had the privilege of working with some of the finest commanders in the MIG, in the Marine Corps, in my opinion. The definition, you know, said noun, pondery, something along the lines of, you know, a, a very difficult situation, a perplexing, difficult situation. And I literally laughed out loud, ironically, because <laughs> here I am running day of the change of command, and I come across a sign that says the quandary. But the reason I was laughing is because it was the exact opposite of what I was feeling. I was feeling super confident. And it wasn't my abilities, not a chance. It was because in the last three weeks, the last six months, I've had an, an outstanding turnover. And I've had someone that said, uh, welcome, thank you, glad it's you. What can I do to help you for six months, civets, trying to get me prepared the last three weeks taking me everywhere, introducing me to people, making sure I understood how important the MIG is, not only to the, the biggest and the, the best war fighting organization in the Marine Corps, and most likely the world, as the chaplain said, uh, one MEF, but to a unit that has so much promise and so much uh, leadership and uh, so many professionals on the way moving forward.